Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Not so fast, young man. If the coin lands on tails, you can eat all this KFC. However, if you land on heads, you have to go out in public dressed like a giant chicken. So I either get to eat the chicken or be the chicken. Let's find out which one it's gonna be. Three, two, one. No, it landed on heads. Well, Morgan, enjoy your chicken costume and I'll enjoy eating all this chicken. Guys, this is not funny. I'm gonna look like some kind of weirdo going into a park dressed as a giant chicken. Look at all the people in this park. This is gonna be so embarrassing. Nothing to see over here. I'm just a regular chicken. such a fuss. Every time he leaves the house without the chicken costume on, it looks like a giant chicken anyway. I heard that. Have you seen KFC? Anyone? KFC? I'm late. They need me. I'm supposed to be cooked at five. So have you guys ever met a giant chicken before? Yeah. Are you a funky chicken? I am indeed. <laughs> right. I think we need to get Morgan out of this park quickly before somebody calls the police. Okay guys, after mum just humiliated me in public, I think it's time to get some revenge. As you can see, mum has came to the city centre to come and look at some jewellery. And I think this is the perfect time to do the next coin toss challenge. Hey mum! Oh. What are you doing here? Have you been following me? Well, Mum, if the coin lands on heads, then I will take you in the jewellers and buy you anything you want. But, Morgan, I know how this works. What if it lands on tails? Well, if the coin lands on tails, then you have to go to the middle of the street and start singing. Oh, no! You've heard me singing in the shower and it is not good. Three, two, one... Oh my gosh, it's heads! Yeah! It's time for Big Jill to get iced out! I'm gonna go into that jewellers and I'm gonna buy myself a bracelet! I deserve a bracelet! Hashtag get mum a bracelet! And it's not gonna be leather! And it's not gonna be silver! And it's not gonna be gold! It's gonna be diamond! Jill's about to be iced out! Guys, I've got me some ice! Check this out, guys! A new iced out bracelet for me. Thanks for the free bracelet, Morgan. I really appreciate it. Right, guys. It's been about two hours since we entered the pool. And since Morgan dumped my head under, I'm starting to get cold. However, I have a bigger problem. I'm starting to get really thirsty. I've not had anything to drink all day. But I can't leave the coat pool to get a drink or I'll lose the challenge. So, I guess I have no other choice. I have to drink the coke from the pool. Jill, don't do it. It's dirty. You don't know what's inside this pool. Martin, I do know what's in this pool. Coca-Cola, my favorite drink. So I'm having some. Amazing! Mm. Mm. Oh, this tastes great. Mom, slow down a bit. There's not going to be any Coca Cola left in the pool in a minute. Okay, guys, we've been in the pool now for about four hours. I've got goosebumps all over my body. I'm shaking and I'm freezing cold. And I think I might have an idea of how I can warm us all up. Warm us up? What is it, Morgan? What are you gonna do? Come on, Morgan, quick, tell us. Guys, I'm gonna let you see for yourself. <gasps> I think he's weird. Oh my God. Oh, I can 
The next item we need is a lamp because the last thing I want is to be trapped alone in a coffin underground in the dark. Guys, since I'm going to be trapped underground by myself with nothing to do, I'm going to need to make sure I have loads of charge on my phone so I can stay up to date on my social medias. So I'm going to get a USB power bank. Um, Morgan, you do realise there's no internet under the ground? What do you mean, no internet? Well, you're under the ground. There's no internet. I can't survive for 24 hours with no internet. Well, you're gonna have to. Oh no! Oh my gosh, it's a portable toilet! This would be the perfect thing to bring into the coffin with me! Um, Morgan, do you not think it's a bit big? Well, how else am I gonna go to the toilet? Well, you could always just pee in the coffin. But what if I don't need to pee? What if I need to poo? Um, I can't really help you there. And now there is only one more thing we need before we enter the coffin. Let's do this. Okay guys, we have arrived back home. I've loaded all my supplies into the coffin and I am ready to be buried alive. Morgan, wait a sec. I think you're forgetting something. Mum, what on earth is that? It looks like a big sausage. Morgan, this is a tank of oxygen for you to breathe when you're in there. Why well, do I need a tank of breathing air? I'll just breathe the air that's in the coffin, silly. Well, Morgan, good luck with that. It'll only last you about an hour. Anyway, Morgan, it's getting dark, so without further ado, let's load you into the coffin and then the challenge can start. It's been two hours in detention. This hot dog needs to go have a pee. I better ask Mr. Noble so I don't have to do another punishment. Mr. Nobles? Yes, Jensen. What is it? I'm trying to do my marking. Can I go to the toilet? I'm busting. Jensen, of course you can go to the toilet. Of course you can. Not! Who do you think you are? A baby who can't hold it in? This is detention! If you want to go to the toilet, you know where the door is. But you will have to say goodbye to the $10,000 as you leave. Morgan, I'm really desperate. I don't think I can hold it in. Jensen, it's okay. You can't leave. You can do this. Just hold it. Just don't think about it. It's Morgan, what are you doing? We want him to leave. Come on, Jill. I know what to do. Jensen, think of waterfalls. No, no. Think of taps. You need to get to that toilet. To the toilet, Jensen. You don't want to do a pee pee on the floor in the don't classroom. Don't pee in the classroom in front of everybody. That's embarrassing, Jensen. You just better go. Oh. Fine, I quit.
Well, it seems Jensen couldn't take the pressure, and now there's only two students left. <coughs> oh. Three students left. You better sit down, Greer. Morgan, what are you doing? Oh, um... Maths homework? That doesn't sound like maths homework. I'm just doing a very long algebraic equation, and I'm... Writing a lot down, sir. Morgan, you don't know the first thing about algebra. What are you doing over there? Hold your book up. Hold it up! <sighs> Morgan, that does not look like algebra. Is that a drawing of me? Well, Mr. Millwalls, you're just very beautiful. I. I... I guess I got distracted when I was doing all my equations. Morgan, I have explained these rules to you several times. Rule number 205.3. No drawing me in class. Morgan, look at that. That looks nothing like me. My nose does not look like that. Does it like you a little bit? Not even a little. Tiny bit? Maybe. This picture does not truly represent my beauty, and you need to be punished for this. You are going to write down, Mr. Nobles is beautiful, and you will not stop until I tell you. So, uh, Mr. Nobles is beautiful, or Mr. Nobles. Is Mr. Nobles! Okay, okay, I understand! Look! Wait, oh It's my. just falling asleep! Is it actually is he, asleep? Is he not cold? Is he asleep? Yeah, honestly! Just... What? What about one more 482? We no were sleeping in class! Do you mean 482.5? <laughs> Wait guys, look! My phone's still on his desk! Shall I go and get it? Mum, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Remember what he said about if you break his rules, the punishments are even more extreme than, the, than they've been all day. Yeah, but look at him, he's fast asleep, he'll not wake up. Ah! What do you think you're doing, Jill? Did you seriously think I was asleep, Jill? I would never break one of my own rules. Well, I tried confiscating your phone, Jill, and that obviously wasn't an extreme enough solution for you. So why don't we step things up a little? So how about we throw your phone out the window? What? You can't do that! How am I gonna message Ball Stephen now? I mean, Ball Martin now! Well, Jill, you can always leave the detention and take your phone with you. You know what, guys? I need the money. So, goodbye, phone. Three. Two. What? No poking the teacher. Screw the rules! I'm fed up of this! It looks like it's come down to just you two in the final battle to win the $10,000. Darren, are you confident you're going to win? Well, Mr. Nobles, I've never won a challenge on Morgan's channel, but I've got to the final. This is the time I'm going to win. That was a trick question, Darren. You've just broken rule number one in my detention. No talking in detention. Now go and stand back in your corner. Oh, rule number one. I should have seen that coming. Now! No, I was just, um, resting my eyes. You haven't even been told to stop writing yet! Sorry, Mr. Mr. Nobles. Nobles is beautiful! You Keep going! Indeed. You are indeed! Guys, it's been almost eight hours in detention. 
I did not think I'd still be here. I thought everybody would have given up by now. I am getting so tired, guys. I might have to leave. This literally feels like torture. I feel like I'm going insane. I must have written down Mr. Nobles is beautiful a hundred thousand times. I can't even feel my arm anymore. I've got to keep going, guys. I need the $10,000. I've warned you, this is a step too far. No sleeping in my class. Since you want to sleep in my class, Morgan, I know the perfect punishment to wake you up. Three. No. Two. No. One. No. And now get back to writing. Guys, it's been nine hours in detention. I'm really starting to struggle now. My legs are giving way. I can't go on. I think I'm gonna have to come up with some sort of idea. I think I've got the perfect solution. That over there is a Bluetooth speaker. And lucky for me, Mr. Nobles didn't take my phone away. Team Dad, watch this. We might be able to get our first ever victory. What's up? Morgan? Darren? It's the fire alarm. Everybody evacuate. That's the fire alarm. What do we do? Yeah. Go! Oh. oh! Come on, everybody, get out. I don't think so. Have arrived at an abandoned factory, and we're gonna be competing in the most dangerous challenge we have ever done. We're gonna have 10 minutes to hide inside the factory before a fully trained armed SWAT team arrive to hunt us down and arrest us. The question is who will be the last one to be arrested and who will win the $100,000 prize? My name is Big Jill, and I'm contestant number one. I've been hiding from the police for years now, and I don't intend to get caught today. My name is Darren, and I'm contestant number two. I've never messed with the police before, but today, with $100,000 on the line, I'm going to do whatever it takes. My name is Morgs and I'm contestant number three. I need that money and I'm not gonna let some stupid police officers get in the way of that. Team Morgs, we've got this. Contestants, are you ready? Yes! yes. Well then, out. Team Ryan's back. S still haven't won one yet. My name's Ryan and I've not competed in one of these challenges for about a year, but today I'm back. I need that money. I'm not gonna let anyone get in the way. Team Ryan, I won't let you down. Well, Ryan, it's great to have you back. I'd love to catch up, but the SWAT team are gonna be here in five minutes. Five minutes? What are you waiting for? Come on. 